in the previous video, our vampire Jonathan puts his sister Mary to rest. After a few days, he worked harder to find a cure for the disease. He then receives a letter from Lady Ashbury to meet her at her mansion. This is where Jonathan's night begins. Alright, let's get to go to Lady Ashbury's mansion. I want to see how her mansion looks like. None of us has seen it, unless you play the game, of course. <laughs> Love being here. It's far away from all the dangers and craziness. Hmm. I'm only memorize level three, I believe. Hmm, nobody's out here. Crazy. Except these two. Level five, level. Five. I wasted like the least couple minutes there what's up man maybe if I take this way it'd be much easier oh yeah should have came through this way instead can I talk to you you must prepare child for the earth is bleeding, and the harvest is upon us. Stay away! Whoever you are! This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. I am not your champion! But of course you are, son. As surely as you are the blood of my blood. I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to it. Silence! I dismiss you now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence! Tired of all these puppet shows. I agree with you on that, Jonathan. Just minding my own business. Uh, I can make it. Can I go this way? What the heck? Hey, sir. They want war. I'll show them war. Whatever this poor woman did, no one deserves this kind of punishment. You got that right, man. Die, beast! Is there a way I can avoid them? So this is where she lives. What a splendid house. Sure is. Let's end. So bright. Dr. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. What about what? I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Please, call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. 
What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How what? have you been since we last met, my friend? I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, please follow me, Jonathan. Hmm. Wonder where we're going to go. I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. This is like a real vampire scene I took already. the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe. And of course, to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Please, call me Elizabeth. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. What? They have done nothing but impede my investigation since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. Hmm. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite. But we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind. And they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the Guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No, you will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really 
look at me, young Ekon. We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Elizabeth. Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. So that was some so, great news. Time to visit the Ascalon Club. Some kind of great news she told me. Where is this Ascalon Club at? Let's head to the Ascalon Club. Where only males are only allowed. So sexist. What the heck? Not the same. Not trying to fight for anything. disease so they must be behind this can I enter through here it's locked all right of course is there a way where I could jump over it Was the vampire I saw earlier. This war takes no prisoners. I'm guessing this is the way? The West End. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. Look like I entered through here. Bill form. Whoa, level 29. You Londoners are no match for me. Sir, sir, calm down. I told you to calm down. fight each other the Ascalon Club the heart of British vampire society not quite as subtle as I expected women die too in this war apparently this is only a all boys club only hmm. well I'll end the video there next time we come back we'll go on inside the Escalation Club and find out what's the main reason this Lord Redgrave wants to see me. Besides the power of me, of course, killing 
my sister Mary. Well, Jonathan's sister Mary, of course. See you guys next time. I want to be safe. So Jonathan talks to Lady Ashbury and asks to meet Lord Redgrave at the Ascalon Club. But will Jonathan Connor next? Who will he meet? To be continued.